Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to the first ever episode of five random horror games So as most of y'all probably know I've been live for the last four days straight playing lies of P full gameplay on that coming soon But anyways, I missed a couple uploads for the first time in like a month So here's five to make up for it and on the off chance that you've never seen a random horror games episode This is an episode where I find some of the best looking new horror games on the internet and play them all right here in one video And as always if you do enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe and welcome to the first ever episode of five random horror games So first up, we got Mr. Lupin. Something about a guy stuck in a box. Oh no, Mr. Bali, come back. Chase Mr. Bali, all right. Uh, there you are, Mr. Bali. Susie. What? Hello? Who's there? Follow the voice. All right. This one's kind of a weird one. I've heard this is really good. Susie, you're finally here. Come closer. Closer. Just one more step, Susie. Uh, who, who are you? Ah, oh, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mr. Lupin. And you, my dear, you can call me your new friend. Why do you know my name and are you in there? Oh, Susie, I know many things, but first, won't you do me a favor? Please tear the wrapping paper off so I can see your wonderful face. Ah! Oh, so much better, my dear. Now I can see you clearly. You're a true gem. I noticed the scent of cheese. It's my favorite. I'm ever so hungry. Cheese, well, uh, I don't have any cheese with me, Mr. Lupin. But I smell cheese all around this alley. Could you do me a kind favor and collect some for me? I promise I'll be forever grateful. All right, so we're gonna listen to the man in the in the box and find some cheese. You can look around by moving the cursor and interact with my surroundings by pressing E. Cheese, cheese. Can't hate on the dude for liking cheese, you know? Cause I, I too like cheese. Oh, in the vent, cheese. Ah, uh, I shouldn't touch that. Yeah, I shouldn't touch that, okay. Um, cheese, cheese, and that should be enough cheese. Look at that big cone. Ah, uh, here's some cheese for you, Mr. Lupin. I hope you like it. Oh, how delightful. You're a true friend, Susie. Uh, press E to change your throw direction and force. Okay. Bang! Enjoy the cheese, Mr. Lupin. More where that came from. I was a I was a quarterback in high school, so yeah, this is pretty pretty light work for me to toss that into the box for you, Mr. Lupin. Thank you for this delicious treat. You're welcome, Mr. Lupin. It's not every day I meet someone like you. And it's not every day I meet someone as kind as you, Susie. But do you think you could find a bit more cheese for me? It's my absolute favorite, and I promise I'll cherish it. All right. Let's get this man some more cheese, then. Um, where am I? Cheese? Lots of traps. Oh! Thank you, I was looking for more of that. Appreciate it. Um, you got any more? No? Oh, oh, is there somebody there? Okay. Uh, Mr. Lupin, I... Oh, a key. What's this key for? This box. Let's wind that up. Crank this box up and see. Just kidding, it's not letting me crank it up. Oh, I think I maybe need this thing first. Now we can crank it up. Aw. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Alright, let's head on back. Mr. Lupin, found some more cheese for you. Hope you like it. I also saw some pretty weird shit. <laughs> oh, Susie, you've truly outdone yourself. You're such a wonderful friend. There you go, bro. Pop. Pop. Bang. And one more, I think. 
this cheese is simply irresistible. But you see, I'm still ever so hungry. Is there any chance you could find just a little more cheese for me, my dear? More cheese, Mr. Lupin? I should go home now. It's late. Come on, Susie. Just a little bit more. Please don't disappoint me. <sighs> Mr. Lupin, you... <sighs> All right, Mr. Lupin, I'll try to find more cheese for you. You've been nice to me and friends help each other, right? Uh, but please promise me that this will be the last time, okay? I promise. All right, just a little more cheese. You know, I can't... Big balloon. Big red balloon. I can't really hate him for being a cheese lover. I also like cheese. I got something for you. Well, what happened to you? Nothing, Susie. Everything's fine. I just feel very alive right now. It's been a while since I had a good conversation with someone. All right. There's a piece of cheese for you. It's almost Christmas. Can't really hate him for that. Susie, my dear, you've been so kind to me. Just a little more cheese and I promise it'll be worth your while. I got a surprise for you. Mr. Lupin, I'm not sure about that. Think I should probably go now. Oh, Susie, I understand your hesitation, but please just a bit more. I can't bear to see you go empty handed. Trust me, it's for the best. Jesus Christ, Mr. Lupin, this is too much, man. And they're all in traps. Okay, I found something, but that's it. I'm going home after this. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, Mr. Lupin? Are you, are you okay? That's all I can find. I'm sorry. Well, I'll just go home now. Bye. Just a little bit more, Susie. These are all in traps, though, Mr. Loop, and I'm gonna hurt myself. Ow! God damn it! Mr. Lupin. Mr. Lupin, I hurt my fingies, bro. I can't keep doing this. Shit. Made it in. All right. Uh, big. Ah, you sons of bitches. I forget this taste. I think you're ready now, Susie. Are you ready to see the surprise? <laughs> yeah, let's see the surprise, Mr. Lupin. <laughs> no need to be shy now. Just follow me. The fuck? What is this? Uh, what's this, Mr. Lupin? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> There's another one, is it? Yum, yum. Okay, uh... Yes, I can feel it. <laughs> uh, is he, uh, full? Mr. Lupin, are you there? Try to flee or stay? I feel like at this point I should... Nah, we've been sticking with it. Let's stick with it. Susie. Damn, bro! I knew you were a true friend. Aww. Ending four out of four. Friends forever. You finally found a true friend. Aww. That was so fucked up and so sweet at the same time. Anyways, Mr. Lupin, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we got late night TV. I guess it's been a long day at work and we're gonna relax on the couch and watch some, watch some TV. Night one, great. Okay, long day at work, like I said. I can't wait to lay down and watch some TV. Nice house we got here. Those doorways could not be uh, any shorter. Let's flip the TV on. Actually, the remote was in my, in my bed. Let's check the windows first, why? 
Nothing. Okay. What of, uh... Okay, we got three windows in here. Let's see. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, one more. Night one. Why are we checking the windows? Just make... Holy fucking 360 no scope to the window. I feel safe now. Okay. What about the closet? You want to check? Hmm. Let's not check the closet. All right, let's lay down on our bed. The amazing world of Albert. Oh, this looks good. Albert picks a cake. All right, Albert. Oh, wow. How to bake a cake 101. Gather sugar, milk, and an egg on a table. And then you, um, I'm not sure what's next. Hopefully you have a cake by then. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Uh, sugar, sugar and what? Milk and egg. Weird sugar fella farm. All right, well, let's go to the farm first. We'll get probably milk and egg from the farm, right? That's a bucket. That's locked. Okay. So there's our milk. Presumably our milk. I mean, it's a bucket of something. Don't really know what else that could be. And then here's the weird sugar fella. What's that, bro? I need some milk. Got that bigger sugar you're looking for. Just bring me an egg and it's all yours. Okay, but I need an egg, man. Where am I gonna get an egg from? I'm gonna go north. Never mind, I'm not gonna go north. I'm gonna go this way. And then maybe back down. Try going south. What's this? Is this just a rock? Just a rock. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go down this way. We can't. Hmm. Oh! Milk of the cow! I need a bucket if I'm gonna milk this cow. I have a bucket. I have a bucket in my hand! Oh, it's already got milk in it. I already, I already milked it. Okay, nice. Okay. Uh, if, I wonder if I keep going further if there will be chicken. No chicken. Okay. Um... Oh. <laughs> I got the milk now. Okay. Milk has been placed on the table. And then I'm betting that we need to go maybe up from here. Chicken! Pet all the chickens, okay? <laughs> One, two, three, four. And then this one gonna lay an egg? <gasps> Thank you! I'm pretty sure I need, it said I needed an egg for the cake though. So how am I supposed to, maybe, maybe if I pet the chickens again, they'll give me another egg. I don't know. What's up, Mr. Weird Sugar Man? I got you an egg. Here it is. Don't tell anyone you got it for me. All right? I won't say a word. Albert's gonna take the sugar and he's gonna put it on the table with the milk. Okay, and then it says milk and an egg. Okay. Then we're gonna go back and pet the chickens again and hopefully get another egg because that other man took ours. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you! All right, we have all the ingredients for the cake. Now Albert takes the egg and he's gonna put it on the table with the sugar and the milk and it's gonna make a cake. Bang! Happy birthday. Hello, people of wherever we are. They totally gone. I've got a real crazy news story for you guys. There's been a missing person report recently. So far, it's been, it is undetermined if the person is still alive. Well, let's be serious with each other. That person's totally dead. So be on the lookout. See y'all tomorrow night. What a weird fucking face. Night two. All right. That was the... That's what was on the TV. For night one, let's check the windows again, eh? Nothing. Where do we live? We're in the middle of the forest. All right. 360 no scope again. Nothing. Okay. And I'm just gonna check this one out. Nothing. We're good now. I feel safe now. Let's get into bed. See what's on TV tonight. Oh, the amazing world of Albert. I was hoping that there was another episode. Albert makes a friend. 
Oh, good for Albert. Does he... Okay. Nice. So in the last episode, Albert made a cake. And I guess in this episode, we're probably going to take that cake to a... Uh, a friend. Oh! You look good. <laughs> Silly. I'm lethally allergic to eggs. But thank you for the offer, sweetheart. Aw. I guess she's not the one. Well, if not you, who am I going to take this cake to? I don't know if anyone else exists in this world. Oh, you look like a cake lover. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I was really craving cake. How'd you know? You're like the best person ever. Let's be friends. Holy smokes, everybody. I got an update on that disappearing people situation. There have been a few more missing people. President Mayer says that these disappearances are totally unrelated to the $20 quadrillion that seem to have vanished from the national budget. He's the president. You have to believe the president. The possible suspect for these kidnappings has been seen wandering about in the forest. That's all I've got so far. Now the more burning questions. Are hot dogs technically tacos? Come back tomorrow night and find out. Whew. I can't wait to come back tomorrow night and find out if hot dogs are tacos. Night three. Oh, man. It's been a long day at work, and I cannot wait to watch the next al episode of Albert Does Something. Albert the whatever. Oh, wow. There's some static on the TV already. I must have left it on from last night. Wah, wah, nothing out there. All right. Just one more to check before we look at the TV. Ah, nice. Uh, he didn't say he felt safe, though. Oh, this is the TV is weird. Now I feel safe. Okay, we turn the TV off just to get back into bed and turn it right back on. To watch the amazing world of Albert. <laughs> Albert plays hide and seek tag. Nice. The middle of the night is the perfect time to play some hide and seek tag. Just head up into the flower field and I'll count before I come into. If you reach the other side, just ring the bell so I know that you won. But if I tag you before you get there, I win. Don't let me see you or I'll tag you. Let's go. Let's go. But I, need to, I need to make it to the other side before that guy gets me. But how do I know? What do I go the wrong way? Okay, keep going up this way. All right, looks like we're going to have to make a right turn here. Okay. Shit. We went the wrong way. Ruh -ruh. He said he counted 10. I think it's been longer than 10. <laughs> Hurry. Okay. And then? Uh, and then where? Uh. Okay, not a dead end. That's good. Ah! Hurry, hurry fast, hurry fast. <laughs> oh, he's slow as shit. Bro. <laughs> Homie's been chugging cake. Here we go. Probably this is the right way. I think it is. I think this is probably right. Ha ha ha! Motherfucker. Oh man, you got to the end. That was a ton of fun. We should play another game tomorrow, but what game? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh! We can play the ball game. I can't wait! Well, better get home before some night creepy crawlies get us. Welcome back, everyone. Let's get to my spicy question. Okay. As far as I know, hot dogs are more of a sandwich than a taco. Anywho, people are aware that the people nabber is in the woods. That has got to mean that there is some sort of secret base out there. There is little to no evidence suggesting that there is a base, but there is no way that there isn't one. I would just suggest sticking with others when you are out and about in the woods. Let's hope your buddy isn't the evil doer. See y'all later and be safe. Remember to subs. Wait, what? Never mind. No. Don't die. Bye. Alpha News. That was a nice sketch of the house. Y'all ever seen that news video before? Where it's like the possible sketch of the subject? Anyways, long day at work today. Uh, check the wood. Okay. Nothing there. Alright. Let's see here. Nothing there. They said the suspect was in the woods. So, uh, I, I actually live in the woods. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but... Okay, we're okay though. And the windows are presumably all closed, so let's just get in bed. Oh wait, I can't get in bed. Well, the TV's not turned on, so what? 
Ah. Well, how did I leave that open? That's awfully strange. I feel safe now. Okay. Alright, now I can get in bed and watch the uh, latest episode of The Amazing Albert. The Amazing World of Albert. Sorry. <sighs> Albert kicks the ball. Hell yeah. Play a little kickball for the day. Ball. Where's the ball? Oh, holy shit. Block that. Right? Damn, dude, this guy's serious. You weren't this fast when we were playing in the maze. How did you get so fast? Oh! What happened? Just no one. Hello everyone, to tonight's news. No more Mr. Silly Guy. The situation by the disappearing people has gotten out of hand. The President Mayor demands that everyone stays home. Don't leave your house for any reason. Trust no one, not even me. But please, trust me about the not trusting anybody part. This may be our last broadcast. See you eventually. Night five. Ah. Oh. Well, I didn't listen to the news then because I went out to work and I just got back. All right. Window number one is okay. Doors closed. Window number two. It's okay. All right. We got one more window to check. The door's still closed. There's nothing in there. Uh, there we go. All right. We're fine. I feel safe now. All right. Let's lay down and watch the news then. The amazing world of Albert. <clears throat> Albert. What does Albert do? It's just Albert today. What's Albert up to? Albert murdered his fucking friend. Oh, you guys. You guys. I bet that's my house. Um. Closet. Get in the closet. The shotgun. Okay. Oh. Ah! Is the window? Which, which, where is he gonna come from? No, why? Why? Whatever, bro. That was... I don't even know what it was called. Next up, we have uh, the Silly Goofy Game of the Night. This one's called SpongeBob's Evil Clone. I don't really feel like I need to say a whole lot about this in one. In the vast expanse of existence, we often find ourselves entangled in a web of our own desires, driven by a hunger that knows no bounds. That's a good voice, actually. Imagine a world where a tiny creature by the name of Plankton, consumed by an insatiable appetite for power, hatched a plan that would forever alter the course of destiny. With a mix of mischief and misguided ambition, Plankton sought to create a malevolent replica of our beloved SpongeBob SquarePants, embodying the very essence of our darkest desires. Oh. As this nefarious doppelganger emerged from the depths, it brought with it a chilling reminder of the consequences that befall us when we succumb to our own greed. But fear not, for amidst the shadows of despair, a glimmer of hope shines through. It is in these moments of remorse that we come to understand the fragility of our own souls. You, my dear friend, now bear the weight of the world upon your shoulders. 
It is you who must embark on this perilous journey and confront the malevolence that threatens to consume us all. Okay, you know what? That was a better intro than I thought it was going to be. Really good, uh, that was a really good voice for that thing. And um, actually a decent storyline. Plankton created a, it's gonna be a fucked up SpongeBob. Why they always got Patrick doing some stupid shit? What's up, man? Squiddy! Good to see you, my boy! Good evening! Okay. Um, I guess. I guess it's a bad evening. Um, what? Just say what do you want. Say what do you want. Uh, I'll take one Krabby Patty. Have a seat. Okay. Thank you. you Alright, bro. Uh, I'll just take a seat right here then. Squiddy, is that my Krabby Patty, bro? <gasps> SpongeBob! I'm, I'm such a big fan of your work! Good evening, sir. Good evening, Sponge. Hey, SpongeBob. Good evening. Do you want hot sauce in your patty? Uh, yeah, please make it extra. Okay, sir, just a minute. Ah! What the fuck was that? Well, that was scary. It was scary. I will go to check and you do me a favor. Sure, Sponge. There is a note in the kitchen with Cass. Do it and I will give you the patty for free. I have to check the boys. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll, I'll do your task for you. I'm, uh, that's okay. Sponge was gonna go check the noise. Uh, Squidward, you wouldn't happen to know how I could get up off this seat, would you? I'm really trying here. I'm trying everything to get up out of the seat. Um, there we go. What's that? All right. I'm gonna walk into the kitchen. Don't mind me. It says, throw the trash in the trash can and put Mr. Krabs' money in the box. Okay. Uh, where's the trash can? Let's see. There's not any trash. This? These patties? What, what qualifies as trash? This. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I'll clean up. Here we go. I'm just gonna put that in the trash. Come on, motherfucker, go in the trash, please. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. There we go, there's a, there's a cup. Trying everything. G, G for give to trash can. Nice. Okay. There we go. We got two more little items of trash. And then we can grab the... And we can grab the money and give it to Mr. Krabs. I hope Mr. Krabs isn't the mer... No, it's definitely not Mr. Krabs. It's Plankton. We already know that. Uh, okay, so that one's done. And then put Mr. Krabs' money in the box. Squiddy, give me this money, bro. I need the money. I really need the money. No? Okay. Oh! It's in here. Okay. One. Two. That's a lot of fat wads of cash. Holy shit. How much money do you think Mr. Krabs actually has? Probably, like, not that much. There we go. And... Bang! Should be it. 
I think I did the thing. I'm gonna sit back down now. Where'd Squidward go? And where's one? Or not Squidward? Patrick. Where'd Patrick go? And Squidward. Can you deliver me my, my, my food? It's. I am real slow. Okay. I am not fair. I didn't say you were. I just. Can you hand me that? I'm the most real slow. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he will make you a real one for Okay. Real down right. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He will to I am real slam. XXAX. All right, here's some used panty. Oh no. F X X X. F E A R. Fear. The secret lies within the alphabet's orders. Wow. Look at that. Some skulls. <laughs> okay. And there's a locker. Oh, it's a hiding spot. Great. Uh. What? The alphabet's order. Oh. Wait. What? So is that? Does that mean? One, two, three, A, B, C, D, E, F, six. Six, E, A, B, C, D, E, five. A, one. Wait, but R is gonna be like, the R is gonna be way down there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. What is that, 13? <laughs> Not what did, I, what did I type? Whatever. Okay. Lights out. Nice. Great. Jesus. Sometimes you just need a flashlight to see things as they should be. Oh, wow. What does that mean? What's that say? There's something over there. Is that from the door that I just came out of? Yeah, stupid. Okay. We have a flashlight. Um, I don't really know what he's talking about. Another hiding spot. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob, you son of a bitch. I have to turn on flashlight. Yeah, we already know. What was the, what was the password? It was six, six, five, one, one, eight. All right, uh, so I don't open that door. I definitely don't open that door. So Or do I open that door and then hide? Wait, wait, I go through this one. I go through this one. Okay The fuck is that? There's an arrow that points it. Oh, what is that? It's much more come out uh, Should I what is, what is this even talking about? That's the worst hint in the history of the world. It's a flat line with a little circle. What, what, what is that? This? Something with a piano. Wait, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Two hours later. Does that mean I did the right one? Oh my god, this game is horrible. Six, five, one, one, eight. Bing, bing. Okay. Uh. I th 
think I that means I pressed the right one. Maybe I can. I'm just, uh, I, okay. Oh. Arrow with a slash line. What? What is that? What are they talking about, bro? What's in here? Holy shit! Um. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Am I supposed to be in a chase sequence right here? No. The Krusty Krab. It's little tiny. Oh, look at you guys. Pretty cool little animatronical SpongeBob characters. Stock. Big worm. Oh, it's got something in his mouth. A handle. What's the handle for? Shiny objects. Maybe I put that in here. No, not to put enough of that. I hear SpongeBob. Uh, okay. What to do with this handle? Perhaps I can turn on one of these things. One of the animatronics. No? Uh, I mean, this is a shiny object. That's shiny ish. Not really. But I mean, kind of. Okay, let's take it back to, um. I think that music means SpongeBob's close ish, perhaps. Maybe the fridge? No? Dude, like. There's just it. I just don't really understand what's going on right now. Like, at all. Uh-huh. Okay, looking for somewhere that I can use this handle. This is the longest hallway of all time. Hopefully... What's this? Holy shit, this place is massive! Golden spatula and a key. Wow, uh... Okay, but what of this handle? What do I do with this thing? The game's glitching. You see that? It's glitching. Uh, fuck. I guess we're gonna have to end the SpongeBob one here. I loved it so much. I I, I wanted to finish it so bad, but look, it's it's glitching. I'm trying to. <laughs> Next one. Next up, we have the Smiling Man. This is a stalker horror game, and probably the one that I was most looking forward to. So I hope that y'all do enjoy the Smiling Man. <laughs> Some years ago, I lived in the center of a large city in the USA. As I've always been a night person, I often got bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a nice per night person, went to bed. To pass the time, I used to take long walks and spend time thinking. I spent four years like that walking alone at night and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the cities were polite, but all of that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between one and two in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park Quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a week night, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. Mmm, this is gonna be some- this is gonna be a, some stalker bullshit. My favorite genre of horror. Stalker. Shift, WSD, interact. Nice, nice simple control scheme. We like that. Wednesday, 2 a.m. 
Okay. This is, really isn't a great time to be walking alone by yourself. Wednesday at 2 a.m. I don't know. I don't know about all that. Really nice night out. Just a little uh, foggy here. Nothing too, too crazy going on. Nobody following me. Really quiet out. I can't imagine why this place isn't packed with people at 2 in the morning. All, all the cool kids are out at 2 a.m., right? In the year of 2023, fuck no! After a long time of walking... Mm hmm It's been a long time. I'm tired. Better go home. Okay. Let's go home then. All right, so we're back in the city now. Damn, bro. Big city. Where's home? Oh, look! Life! Human life! Why is she talking to me? Why is she talking to me? Okay. I live, uh... I was walking down a small street to get back to my apartment when I first noticed it at the end of the street. There was the silhouette of a man dancing. What? I don't see a silhouette of a man dancing. Not yet, anyways. Is it up? Oh, okay. I saw it for a second. I can kind of see it. Hmm. It was a strange dance. As he danced, he took a step forward. I guess you say, could say he was dancing, coming straight towards me. <laughs> Bro, he's fine. He's just gonna shit his pants. I've done that before. It's just kind of what you have to do. Or, uh, yeah, you know, it just kind of, it just kind of helps. It keeps, it keeps the clench. He knows what he's doing. That's how you walk to keep the clench. He danced closer still, so I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly, looking off at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Yeah, I can't really uh, describe the smile, though. I, I don't. I, I don't be smiling like that when I'm about to shit my pants. The walk, I can. I can explain. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. Okay. Cross so that I don't have to walk the same. I don't really want to get that close to him. I feel like we're... Jesus! He, he had stopped dancing and was standing still with one foot in the street, perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me, but still looking skyward. Smile still wide on his lips. Oh, we got no lips at all. That's impressive that you can stand like that. No movement at all. Damn! All right, bro. I'm gonna head home. That's okay with you. Don't mind following me. I got dogs, bro. I got big dogs. His name's Timo. He's a fucking killer. Rottweiler. And he's also a cat, but... Maybe we should turn around. Oh. He had crossed the street and was now crouching slightly. I was so shocked that I just stood there for a while looking at him. He's well dressed. Is he about to levitate? Oh no. He took giant exaggerated steps on tiptoe. Like a cartoon character sneaking up on someone, only he was moving very, very fast. Yeah, let's, 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 let's just sit and watch. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, leave her! What's up, bro? What the fuck do you want?
Did we lose him? No, we did not lose him. Holy shit, he's on my ass. Oh my god, he's on my ass. I, I don't have enough. Okay. Oh, I ran until I got off the side road and back onto a well-lit low traffic road. When I looked back, he was nowhere to be found. Throughout the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my sho sho shoulder, always expecting to see a stupid smile, but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that night and never went out for a single night stroll again. There was something about his face that haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. My God. Okay, that was a short kind of silly game. Uh, not silly, but it was short and interesting. But that, that build up to, the, to him running after you scared the fuck out of me. I was not ready for that. Anyway, it was a smiling man. Story told by Blue Title. I like that one a lot. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Um, on to the last one. Last, we have a game called Steel Roamer. This is a game about the Australian outback. Something about, actually, it's gonna tell us right here. In the arid regions of Australia, a secret facility called Flowers Gap unleashed a radioactive plant that mutated some animals into horrific designs. The most notorious and deadly of them is the Kylie Roo. You've been abducted by a deranged individual who needs your help to restore the signal towers and document the anomalies around the abandoned Wonder Magpie Station. You're trapped in a modified RV, facing the unknown terrors of the wasteland. Nice. Are we driving? Am I, am I gonna be driving the RV or we're just like in the, in the RV? I didn't really do my research on this one. I just thought it looked like a good time. Okay, here's the RV. This is pretty nice. This is gonna cook. Something about RVs is, uh, they're kind of cozy. What does it say? Nine towers must be activated when you're getting close to a signal tower, the AI mate We'll give you a buzz and tell you to yank this lever down. That'll fire up the signal tower again. All right. No signal found, so we're not at it yet. Other side. This side? Holy shit. All right. Uh, so am I... What is this? Oh, this is the camera. Oh, wow. That's some pretty... uh crazy controls we got here, man. What's this blue bar? This is like, um, what is that game called? Iron Lung, kind of, but in an RV? Oh, we're getting a little crazy with the controls here. Holy shit. It's, uh, oh, look at that. UV. Okay, that, that must be a signal tower right there, right? Or not UV, um, heat, sig heat, heat, whatever. That looks like a signal, signal tower right there. Um, okay, we'll turn that off. Whoa, 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 whoa! Signal activation found. Okay. Let's, uh, what's this? Oi, Mackenzie. You there, mate? Don't you dare step out of that RV, mate. If you do, you reckon you'll be the main cause for tonight's dinner. I'll tell you. Here's the plan, mate. Keep an eye out for any sightings around this area and fix them signal towers. We need the authorities to get in touch with so we can put a stop this bloody monster. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We need to get rid of this damn beastie. The bush is full of them. Oi! Can you see him explaining something to the person in the RV, love? Jeez, come on. Just give us a rest. Get out, mate. It's a blasting kangaroo. Get out, you ripping mad woman. Sorry about that, mate. Mrs. just walked in unexpectedly. All right, anyway. <laughs> up front and back of that RV earring, you're going to spot two monitoring screens and the steering wheels. Yeah, you use those to keep an eye on where you steer in the rig. I think... They're also being modded to have thermal vision too, because it's it's gonna be bloody dark out there. Use those thermals to see if we can spot anything while you're out there. And if there's any of a kind of a ruckus. You got the radio in here as well, mate, to keep you company. Just in case you get bored. I don't fancy the eerie silence all around you. But yeah, sorry, mate. The lights don't work out there. Nothing can do about it. That's just chucking a lamp in there for you, just so you got a little bit of light. Gotta warn you though, it gets real curly out there. I'm gonna cover all them windows too, you see, cause Kyla really ain't keen on folks seeing or getting filmed. Covering the whole shebang ensures that wildlife reckons it's just some sort of metal creature or something. Well, I reckon that's the lot, mate. You might have to catch some crackle on that radio signal, cause it's pretty wonky reception out there. I'll leave you to it, all that in your lonesome, so good bloody luck, mate. Crikey, he's a dead fella, that one. Better put some tea on, love. It's gonna be a light one. 
<laughs> they told Douglas to, to be as Australian as he possibly could. So everything stereotypical Australian. Entity designation P399 begins its existence as something small, gradually morphing into a colossal form, surpassing the size of an elephant. Its growth was accompanied by tusks, each time three lar each three times larger than those of an ordinary pig, protruding menacingly. The stench emitted by P399. Okay, that's kind of long. Um, it looks like there might even be a backside. I don't know. Anyways, that's uh, that's you guys know what to do. Just go ahead and hit the hit the pause key and give that a read. We gotta find nine of these mother. Oh wow! Look at all this. There's something. There's something. There is something. And some scribbles. Okay. Other side. Okay, so we gotta get back on this one now. And then steer this bad boy around. Looking for... Let's turn our thermals on. We maybe want to go this way now. Looking for another signal tower, huh? This is interesting. It's really dark, isn't it? Something's making some noise out there. So we're trapped in an RV. This is so scary, man. Trapped in an RV and can't see shit. This way, this way, this way. There's a tower over there. I see it. Oh, oh, oh. Re Recorrect. There we go. I think that's a tower. Maybe. It's tall, which I guess makes it a tower of some sort, but maybe not the tower that we're looking for. What the fuck is that? It's, Motion detected. it's a kangaroo. Wow. Don't run that thing over. He'll beat our ass. Hey, big boy. Okay, that's just the kangaroo. That's not bad. They're just... They're friendly, I think. As long as you're friendly. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, this has definitely got to be a signal tower, right? It doesn't look like the other one, but it's big. And I think that's... Motion detected. What's that over there? Weird. Uh, is this not a signal tower? Signal yeah! Nice, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, how do I get up? There we go. Something's making noise out there. I really want to see it. Here's another thing. Y'all, again, y'all can read, uh, pause and read those if you want to. Um, okay, so we're going to crank this handle down. Shit. I would like to leave. I would like to leave at this point. Get a moving. Let's get a move on. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. What's that say? Does that say turn left or does that say no? This is turn left. All right, so it's probably one of those things that's like slowly turn left so that you don't. Next five kilometers left. Okay. I think we're going the right way here. We're gonna need to turn a little sharper on that though. There we go. Good turn. Okay, keep moving. Nice. What's that up there? That thing's got red eyes. What the fuck is that? Oh. He hopped away. It's probably for the better that he leaves. All right. This is so scary. Oh my god. So we're we're navigating. We're inside of this thing, and this is motion detected. Where? Dip, big dip. Boop, boop. We didn't hit the dip. Oh, this is the dip. I don't see motion. I see. I do see another tower though, so that's good. Let's see, let's keep it moving. Oh, too hard. Do, no entry. Um, I think it's maybe too late for that. I gotta get these signal towers turned on. So I'm sorry, bosses. Nice. Okay. Flip that bad boy on. That's three. We're one third of the way there and nothing bad has happened. And because of where we did see that thing with the red eyes, but is it gonna tell me other side? Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna go this way. Um, and where the fuck am I going? I guess back. Okay. I'm not 100% sure where exactly it is that I'm supposed to be going now. Let me just. I guess this way. It's gonna be really difficult to know where I've been, I think. Um, I'm hoping that we kind of are guided to where we need to be. Okay, this is new because I don't remember that. I guess that means it's probably new. It doesn't guarantee that it is. Driving awfully slow. All 
night. Okay, so go ahead and make your prediction now. Oh, look, it's another RV. It's on the side of the road, though. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and make your prediction now. Are we going to go outside and see that thing, or is it going to come inside to us? Oh, fuck. It's that worm from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh. Another tower, nice. That's that's four. That's four towers. If we can get that one turned on. Assuming that's a new one. That's definitely a new one. Okay. I can't keep the I can't keep the thing on. As bad as I want to keep the thermals on. I can... there's, there's the kangaroo peeking around that corner right there. That guy's been watching way too many horror movies. Can we turn this on? Nice. There we go. Okay, that's that's four, right? That's definitely four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang. Other side. Okay. We're doing really good. I'm very proud of um where this is turned out. Which way do I want to go? This way? This way. Okay. So it does kind of help you in the direction that you need to go. That's good. All right. Down the road. That says wild animals. Ain't that afraid of a kangaroo, mate? I am actually afraid of a kangaroo. A kangaroo would <laughs> fuck you up. Uh, what is there a tower over there? I can't tell. No, I don't think there's any towers over here. All right, so we're gonna need to turn around, I think. Turn around and go to the left. Okay, let's go this way. Turn to the left, to the left. So do I have to, I have to go this way. God damn it. No entry. Oh, so there must be a tower over here then. I guess. Okay. I'm fine. I'll leave it off. Fine. Oh, what's up here? A little shed. With some warnings on it. Okay. Oh, wow. What is that? Big old building up there. I would like you guys to get a better look at it, but unfortunately, I can only have my thermals on for about seven seconds before they have to shut off. I don't really understand why that's a mechanic where you can't have your thermals on. They don't really provide any advantage. Motion detected. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, just a kangaroo. Just a little kangaroo. They're not gonna hurt us. Not inside of a van. I mean, if we got out, they might, but as long as we're in the van, we should be safe. What happened to this van, though? You might be wondering. I, too, am wondering. Oh. Okay. Looking pretty good. For a while, I thought that I was actually steering this thing with the cameras, but I don't think that's the case. I think you just go on the path it wants you to go. What is that? Man, I want to get out and look at this shit, but I know that I can't. Okay. All right, all right. We'll leave it off and let it charge for a second. There's a big tree stump in the middle of the road. Okay, where's the next tower? We've kind of been traveling for a second now and haven't seen a tower in a long minute. What's that say? Left lane ends... More kangaroo signs. Nice. Oh, I see a tower up there. Oh, and then there. This is this one. Ah. Uh, ooh, in a little tunnel. Nice. Yeah, there is one here. Nice. There we go. Number five. Five. Signal activation found. Hell yeah. All right. Okay, that's more than halfway done, and no, again, no problems yet. Yet. Let's check out, uh, this side now. Get moving. What's up with that? Oh, shit, look at that. I think I'm seeing things. I don't think that's real. I think I'm just seeing shit. There's another tower, though. That's gonna be six. Motion.
motion detected. Where? Where motion? Where? Signal activation found. Okay, six. What's uh? What's that noise? <laughs> what's the noise going on out there? Hearing something. Other side. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Okay. Let me just peek around. Oh, that's um. That's strange. I don't know what that's all about. Really odd. Okay. The next tower, then hopefully in one piece. Let's see here. Motion detected. Oh, those are like deer. Signal activation found. Or some, those are kangaroo. Those aren't deer. I thought that they were. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Look, Cooper, get up. I can't get up off the thing. Why won't it let me get up? Can I not turn it on with the? Kangaroos there? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I couldn't get up out of my chair for some reason. Light form detected. What? What detected? What detected? I need some toast. What did he? What did he say he detected? Ooh. What the fuck was that? He said. I didn't hear what he said. He said something that I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's... Is that six or seven? We got two or three more towers. I don't remember. I've, I've lost track. Oh, uh, he's getting a little ominous now. Okay. Where are we exactly? I see these in the desert. Oh, we're in the outback of Australia. But like... What's that? Something on the left. That's not me making that noise, is it? There's another tower over there. I reckon that's the one that we're pulling up to right about now. Is that one, maybe? Or maybe... Nope, not that one. Okay. Uh... Does that look... Nah. Nah. Okay. Nice. Right, that's... This is at least... Seven. Okay. Activating. Uh. Okay. I think we have two more. One or two more. And uh, a little, little, little freaked out now, so we're gonna drive a little faster. Hmm. All right. Head to this tower over here. Get a good look at where we're going. That's... I don't think that's a signal. Light harm detected. Light harm detected. Is that what he's saying? Light harm? What's that mean? Is this a signal tower? No, it's not. Alright, we're just going around the road. Um, I wonder if I got up and checked that other camera if there'd be something on it. Maybe. I'm really hoping we get to get out and see this thing with our own eyes, not not just through the camera. It's kind of hard to see through the camera. Okay, we're almost to the next tower. I can see it right there. And again, that's that's I think this is going to be number 8. Okay. Here we go. Crank that down. Signal found. Please activate. Dear Jesus Christ! Is that it? Created by Kyle Cur Curly. That's why it was the Kylie. Kylie. R Ky Kylie Rue? Is that what it was? Anyways, um, that was Steel Roamer, and that was our first episode of Five Random Horror Games. Daily uploads are back. We're back. I missed y'all. I'm so happy to be back. Um, thank y'all for watching the stream. I'll be live 
pretty much every day for probably the rest of my life. So make sure you come hang out with us sometime. And like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. Goodbye.